Oh yeah, sexy biscuits. Nice. Long black clothes, 68000. It was released by Demper in 1992, did the bulk of the Sega arcade conversions on the 68000 with the exception of Hang On, Super Hang On I should say, which was done by Sharp themselves with a little input by Sega. Now this was obviously released in the arcades in 1987. It's a top-down, eight-directional run-and-gun game inspired by Gauntlet and clearly the Aliens uh, movie. Because basically you have to rescue a bunch of your companions or shipmates, I would say, who've been cocooned or imprisoned by aliens. Sound familiar? It should do. Uh, the box art for the various home ports um, on the, you know, the micros back in this country, uh, they use really, really cool kind of grotesque uh, imagery, which I believe was the actual cab artwork, or maybe the flyer artwork, by Sega, this massive head. Uh, with humanoid-esque features, um, but all kind of warped and shit like that. Look it up. It's easy to find. So there are eight levels, I believe, and what you do is you walk around, uh, either as Ricky, or Mary, um, very great space marine names there, I'm not going to lie, um, rescue as many hostages as you can. You don't need to rescue, I like this, it's a bit fucked up. You don't need to rescue every hostage in order to leave the level. And there's a self-destruct um, device that will go off and kill basically anyone you leave behind. Kind of nice. Set in the same universe, some people say it is and some people say it is, I say it is, as Alien Storm. But anyway, so this was called the Spectrum Master, Commodore, Amiga, Atari ST, Master System, NES and this, but this was a very, very late port. I saw it in the arcades as a kid and I sucked it. I suck at it now. Haven't played it actually yet, so maybe I don't. Pretty sure I will, because I'm pretty sure it's going to be a damn close conversion of the arcade, of which I have a gameplay of from a few years ago. So yeah, it, it always kind of really, really impressed me because I was a massive fan of Alien. Saw it too young. Our mum let us rent it. Like, what was I, 11 or something when it came out? <laughs> uh, and yeah, so when I saw this and I was a big fan of Gauntlet, um, I was all over it anyway. I was going to say, let's put some money in. <laughs> we don't need to. So there we go. One player, two player configuration. Have a look at this. Right, so music, sound, voice, uh, stock. I'm assuming that's lives odd way to call it isn't it rank easy uh, CRT mode I don't know what that does I'm sure someone can tell me listen to this voice the time bomb is set go to the exit <laughs> voice acting Oscar for that guy right there hurry up hurry up oh, oh. money shot oh hang on <laughs> Okay, that's good. Cool. Round 10. 1, 2. There is a ton. I've got to play it on analog. Um, I'm playing it on Xbox One pad as I do with all these uh, uh, X68000 games I'm emulating on my laptop. Six, 7, 8, 9. Stop doing that. Zero. Ignition. Well, it's a, what? 22 voice samples. Kind of cool. So, um,. Let's get into the Master System version, just trying to think about that. Yeah, that was a pretty bad port. Better than the NES version, I would say. Uh, and then there's a Polygon version, isn't there? That was on the PS2 and the Wii, uh, which was shite. And then there was a... Oh, what was the other version? Sega Ages, that budget range of games in Japan, um, where they just completely fucking destroyed. I've got gameplays of Outrun, Afterburn and Space Harrier in that series on the PlayStation 2. And they destroyed royalty in that collection. Anyway, right, one player game. There we go. So, Rick or Mary. Look, he thinks he's Michael Bean. And she's clearly not old enough to even hold down a fucking paper round. Wow. Right. So one. round one takes place on either a chainsaw or a giant metal slong. Right. Fire. Hey, why do they do that? Give you the ability to hold it down, but you have to hammer it to get proper range. Anyway, gives you a map, 
and stuff. Oh, your gubbins is at the top of the screen. To the top right, you can see our time limit. It's Parallax. To me, I haven't played the arcade version in ages. Oh, they pop fantastically. But this looks extremely close. He clearly could have got up and run off. Did I just endlessly spawn? I can't remember. Weapons upgrade. Yep, forgot all about that. Flame throw is the best. Although this is probably the best for the boss. If I get to the boss, which I sincerely doubt it, I can't beat him. <laughs> I've got gameplay of this on the Spectrum version, uh, Spectrum version as well, which is pretty good, actually. Flame thrower. This is why it's cool. That is such a satisfying pop noise. Oh, I thought I was... No, no, I'm rescuing people. See, this to me, I'd have to do them side by side. Maybe I should start doing some more comparisons with this sharp compared to the, uh, the arcades. But this to me looks absolutely bang on. Again, unless you're doing it side by side, it's a little bit difficult to know. Uh, I've obviously put it on easy, so we're not being spammed to death by aliens. But I'm trying to talk it to play, to play and play at the same time. And I'm shite at doing that. I mean, you must have realised that by now if you watch my gameplays. The music's actually pretty cool as well. It's actually quite atmospheric. Right, how many... Oh, at the bottom of the screen. See that? That's how many people I've got to save. But like I said, I, you can leave... Oh, shit. You can leave them behind. But then also that's a question of how much time have you got left. Which, how much time have I got left? <laughs> There's the exit. Oh, shit. Did he flow with me? So, yeah, some of them shoot. Also, you keep your weapon. I like that. I like it a lot. So, obviously, that number will go down to zero, but there will be other people left. I think. I don't know. It's been a while since I've played it. Oh. Oh, you can shoot. It's flop. Good to know. Oh, I don't like this. Right. Hey, but I can knock it over walls. I do like this. I'm not going to lie. I probably prefer the flamethrower, though, because, obviously, this is a ranged weapon. And they have issues. At least I can clear a room from the other side. Right. Two more. I don't know what that does. And I don't know what those two little things following me do. It is very aliens, isn't it? And that's not a bad thing. Oh. Right. Go to the exit. Who does he remind me of? He reminds me of someone. And I can't oh. think who it is. Unless it is a famous voice actor. I sincerely doubt it. Hopefully I can just keep banging in okay. money. Oh, wait, is this already? I think, am I doing any damage? Did I? Oh. I don't know. Oh. Wait, they, they spawn. I do have to clear them. And also, I keep forgetting that it's eight directions. Oh, hurry up. You hurry up. Round one. Wait, what, what? The time bomb is set. Oh, you bumped me back. No, you did Yes, you did Oh, shite and balls. I'm pretty sure that's not the first bad guy. I don't know why I raised my voice like it was a question then. I thought the first one was that weird. I don't know. Maybe they couldn't do it. Oh, maybe I just can't remember the sequence of the bosses. I'm guessing the flamethrower would be the best for that stage. Because obviously I can do that. This is a flame spitter. I think. That's what they're called. <laughs> so there's a definite set of weapons you want to keep. I don't know, maybe people swear by this. Maybe I should get a white stick. So that, is that the flame focus? It's red. Yes. And I can do that. Right, no more weapons. To be fair, I kept going up to those things thinking they were maps. Obviously they weren't. Although, having said that, if I use this, how am I going to get close? Or, you know, do I, I don't have the distance to shoot the centre of the boss. That sounded really awkward when I put it like that. 
especially if I didn't buy him dinner first. Itchy face. Obviously, boss battles would be a lot easier. Uh, piss off. Too bad. Right. Did none of you other people have any bloody weapons on this? They should have just named your ship the HMS Victim. A moot point, I know, because it's a video game. But, you know. I mean, if any of you played any versions of these, I'd love to know what you think. Especially the arcade and all this. Uh, and the micro versions. But like I said, Spectrum 1 doesn't scroll like this. But it's, you know, it looks the part. Uniforms. There are uniforms. Hey! This place would be covered in stinky, oozy alien shit by now, wouldn't it? Come on. Three left. You do, you know, piss through the hostages quite quickly. But then, look at my time, you piss through that equally as quickly. And I said that, but I'm struggling to find. Here we go. You do then, on this one's different then, you do have to get them all. I swear you didn't have to. Don't get those. We don't want those. There he is, in there. How much time I got left? I don't know. I can't read it. Don't like looking up shit, you know, when I'm playing, because then, then it just finds my face. Go to the exit. It's a Transformers voice. There's something very familiar about that voice. Right. Yay! I never grow old. Oh, sorry, you never go. No, you don't. I'm tired of that splatty noise. This could be a massive mistake. Oh. Yep. Do these die? These things. Hurry up. I can't do anything. This is me cheating. I suspect it's not working. Yay! No! <laughs> I can't kill him. So, um, that's the best weapon for clearing enemies when they're around you. Uh, but it's a bit shit for the bosses. One more go. No oh, shit balls. It's actually watching it on my laptop then. <laughs> Yoink! What was this one? I guess this is probably the best weapon for the boss then, even though I don't like it. Because I'm picky like that. So yeah, I'm going to go on a limb and say I think this is damn close to the arcade. Oh. And to be fair, when you, the Sharp Machine came out in 87, the arcade machine came out in 87, um, but the, uh, the conversion, this conversion came out in 92. But it's got more than enough grunt, I would have thought, to do it. Look at him, waiting patiently. He's got manners, it's not bad for a Xenomorph, eh? His mum raised him correctly. Oh, I was splatting them off screen. Oh, I don't like those. Not with, the, not with this gun, anyway. Yeah, I am aware it's on easy and I'm still pants at it. I am throwing caution to the wind by legging it around like this. Not checking my sixes and shit. This actually plays pretty well on an analog stick, to be fair, I'm not gonna lie. There you go. Certainly useful against those bastards. Ooh, and it's super nice scrolling. Ooh, that music's cool. Right, so we gotta go in some of the buildings then, aren't we? Buildings, rooms. Ah, was it the blue things or the red things? It was the blue things. I'm guessing. Yeah. Keep this going. 
That's yeah, that's Matt. In Shaw, can I go in Shaw? No. In Shaw then. No. Yes. Side door. No, you. Where's the last bloke? You could at least tell me. You could point. He's over there, mate. Yeah. Say Bob. Saw me earlier on. It's all gun punch shit. Hang a left, straight ahead. You know, because we are on the clock here, people. Just saying. Right, I'm going to miss it and we're going to blow up, aren't we? I haven't committed any of this level to memory. Shocking. Oh, I thought that was like the time or something. I've been in there, haven't I? Might as well go in there again. Map. It's the red ones, is it? Or are they aliens? Oh, no. Shut up. You're making me anxious. Oh, fuck beans. I'm pretty sure in other versions I exited. Anyway, there you go. Um, don't let the fact that I'm Archer Shite at it put you off. Alien signal the shop X68000. This is damn close to the arcade. Oh! Come on. Look at that! Shit. Wait, did I carry my time over? I'm pretty sure I carried my time over. Oh, well, there you go. Anyway, as always, I'd love to know what you think. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you later. Pretty sure it's supposed to be the big swallowed head alien there. Anyway, bye.